Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're going to give a shout out to Cancer's Energy. I was so surprised when I um, logged on this morning and seen how Cancers are listening to the encouraging messages. So I'm going to give you um, some more encouragement. I'm going to give some history actually on the Cancer Energy and um, pull some trine uh, astrology cards that are from uh, star code astro oracle all right so if you go back in history which is what i um teach and um it's not that you're just looking at history all the time but some people have research in their chart and so research means that you research things out rather than taking someone else's information so cancer's energy is connected to the chariot and the chariot is connected to um on the ground egyptians would ride um so we've seen the pictures um in chariots um samurai warriors would ride in chariots when they were going to a conquest and um roman empire um rode in uh chariots when they were um going anywhere or in the conquest however the chariot was used for progress to ride in like we have a car a chariot so the cancer um energy itself is um connected to um progress something that's going to progress us when we take ourselves out of mm, the mind of it being a material thing so in the spiritual aspect the cancerian energy is a water element it is the moon energy it is the female's um, aspect of life as so um, Leo is the sun. It is known to be the male aspect. So we have the moon and the sun, but we want to stay on the moon energy because we want Cancerian energy to understand why they are nurturing individuals. And when they come in as a sun cancer, what they need to do is go um, into some of the Capricornian energies, they may need to pull at Leo's energies for creativity or go into Capricorn for administrative work or if they're going to go into politics or they feel that um, urge because sun or even if you're rising into it, your rising is going to lead you to look at what you need to strengthen, not that you're just going to progress off of what you already know, but you're going to progress off of what you're going to learn, and that is self-knowledge, is self-development, self-learning um, within. Uh, the the Cancerian energy, it, it is a nurturing energy. You guys know that. Some people don't know that it's nurturing. It just knows that it feels compassion for people, but or and passion for people. But in that knowing, you also have to learn how to be balanced with your compassion. Um, they have knowledge on how to heal uh, families or they love to keep family together, but they need to learn the solution to the family staying together because that's the dynamics of uh, cancer. And it doesn't matter if you are a, um, um, a Leo or if you are a Virgo um, in your transiting chart, the information will tell you as you count over to the cancer's house what you're going to experience and what you need to change. Um, the opposite of the sign always I teach in my moon classes is always going to teach you what you need to know. The moon teaches you mysteries because what people don't know is under the lunar um, cycles or full moon and new moon, people have um, what they used to call in... Um, I, I think it came from the Roman era. Lunatic um, is uh, derived in, let me say it correctly. Lunar is derived out of lunatic. So you, you get emotions during um, the moon cycles that are telling us to release the old emotions, the triggers. And that's why some of us, like myself, will research and be led on behaviors to help people solve them. Um, I'm not just a person here on YouTube or in Instagram, or even if you find me on Facebook in my um, groups that is here to actually um, just 
you know, create something and make money. I'm here to educate people on um, their emotional and psychological and biological biological um maybe challenges so that they can overcome because if you don't learn how to identify emotional triggers why it's happening is not because of the people outside of you but it's because within you we draw things to us so if we can draw negative to us we can draw positive so back to um overall the cancer energy it is a nurturer it draws but it has to know how to nurture um people even in the aspect of self-correction self-correction for itself and self-correction for the people because if they don't then they have no boundaries so whenever you're going to look at learning or why you're in a situation know thyself you know socrates and aristotle um said these words no one really knows who uh the um philosopher was that came up with it but it's something that stuck with me throughout time so on the chariot remember the progress that you're making don't stop don't stop even in the times of distractions um here we've talked about the different eras and here's the era of christianity because it is an era um era um, the Piscean era is the um, era of Christian age, and that is starting to um, dissipate because it's changing. So the chariot is making progress because Elijah is a prophet um, from the Christian age. You had um, Muhammad and more. And um, Elijah says here, oh, Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened his eyes. Of the man that he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around elijah and that's in second kings 6 and 17 excuse my grandson he's happy um so um when you start putting um let's see psychology theology and astrology together my dear cancers what you'll find is you are the person that accentuates progress because that energy is in you and because that energy is in you you are able to unblock yourself from um some people will say that they're stuck or they're blocked um dealing with the chakra system we'll get to that because um we have to get to that that inner work but whenever a person is blocked or stuck it's because they can't seem to make it over to the next answer you have a question there's a solution Cancer in progress means that I have a solution. I just need to sit down in a quiet space and meditate so that I can get that solution. Okay. And that is something that I wanted to add because in coaching, um, I could give someone encouragement with cards. When I get a number of over 98 people viewing my channel um, for Cancer Energy, I have to come back and give to you because you gave me something. You nurtured my heart. And so we have an exchange here. So here I'm going to pull um, three cards for you from the Astro, um, I mean, Star Code Astro Oracle. Um, and um, see what comes up for you, Cancer. We thank you for the Archangels, and we thank you for um, the healing. We thank you for guidance mentally, physically, and spiritually. We thank you for the direction for all Cancers throughout the collective, all over the world, throughout the stars, because you gave us the sun, the moon, and the stars. And so we thank you, Mother Goddess, Father God, for this. All right. Here you go. And it says Neptune. Neptune is your visionary. Um, and it's a water sign. You're still going deep subconsciously. Uh, be mindful to actually uh, look at your spiritual gifts, your spiritual insight, because Neptune does bring vision from within. Um, subconsciously, just as cancer does. Cancer is a water element, but the chariot can fly in different um, ancient times. Neptune stands with 
is people. The number on this card is 26. I will post it. The other thing about Neptune is you don't want to get caught in the illusion of other people's lives, how they do things and how they act. You want to make sure that you're in tune with what you do and how you're doing it and that you're looking and seeking for guidance. Let me get one more spirit. Thank you, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael. Thank you for the gods and the goddesses. Master Jesus, Buddha, Lao Tzu. Thank you, Kuan Yin. Healing feminine energy, healing feminine energy. Can't, oh, okay, we got Scorpio energy, investigate. So you guys are investigative. Um, and investigate means right now, I would research, research it. Don't believe everything that um, comes across in my thoughts when I talk about emotional, biological, social, and physical. Um, we're looking at health, wellness. We're looking at emotions. Uh, Scorpio's card is about depths and it covers all psychological aspects of life, spiritual as well. Um, you may be healing from um, molestation. Um, someone could be having a drug addiction circumstances that they're trying to overcome. I believe that you can do that if you change your outlook and your inner look. That means that you begin to affirm who you are, what you believe. Okay. And here's um, the last card for cancer. And here it is again, progression. Your journey is progressing. Um, the number on this card is uh, five and six is 11. The Scorpio card had eight. I'm going to post it for you. Uh, keep moving forward. It, it reminds me of Jacob going up the ladder. Our DNA is programmed for progress, no matter what sign we are, but when someone speaks to us about progress, we can take it with belief or disbelief. That depends on our acceptance for our own selves and our mind state, what we believe. So I pray and believe healing for the minds and souls of those that have been traumatized, going through situations, not feeling like they've had a break and that they can believe beyond what they've been through. In the name of Jesus, let there be light and healing for all the cancer's energy. And I celebrate you again for watching my channel. Share and subscribe with someone that needs to hear this. Blessings. Bye-bye.